It is trout opening week around here. Trout opener for Southern Ontario is this Saturday, April 27th. It's a big day, very exciting time of year. We have some forecasts for you for both steelhead and resident trout, no matter what you're getting out for, we have you covered. Uh, to start off with, water conditions overall right now are looking great. Uh, the grand's are good, at a good level, and because of that, they're actually gonna be stocking earlier than usual this year. I believe it's scheduled for the 29th, which is awesome. Uh, we also have great levels on the credit, most of our other upper uh, headwaters trout streams and for steelhead steelhead rivers have been fishing really well this week uh, the one exception would be maybe be the nautilus saw gets a little high but like credit and everything else has been really good uh, we are slated to get rain this weekend but i think a little stain in there doesn't hurt those fish keeps them from being too spooky with the crowds on the river uh, if it is busy where you are that'll actually keep those fish more enthused and less spooked so good news there uh, we're also getting very warm temps this week uh, specifically sunday and monday although saturday is uh, very pleasant looking day too. That will make for very active fish. If we get windows between a little bit of uh, rain here and there, you could even get some dry fly action on the rivers, specifically thinking blue wing dollars. Um, getting out there uh, fly-wise, taking a look first at uh, sort of your steelhead stuff. So your standards will work, but remember we're fishing while drop back fish this time of year, which is great because those are very hungry, willing fish. So if you're swinging flies, uh, natural bait fish tones, the olive hobos, the code breakers are two of our favorites. And if that water does have a bit of color, just like a natural black hobo spay or something like that will do very, very well. And don't be afraid to fish those fast and cover water because those fish are hungry and willing to move this time of year. Uh, so cover water and get big eats. For uh, the rest of the stuff, nymphing, pinning, wherever you want, uh, fish uh, under a float or a bobber, uh, we've got uh, bait fish patterns again. Don't be afraid to fish buggers. The white woolly bugger is one of the most underrated steelhead flies ever. We have a lot of bait fish around this time of year. They can be very, very good, just dead drifted as well as stripped. And then of course, eggs, worms, no brainer there. Uh, if we get a little bit of rain, there's gonna be worms all over the place, so definitely worth a go. And nymphs, if you're on, uh, especially some of those Eastern creeks, they may have perfectly good clarity and uh, in those cases where they do see a lot of uh, beads and robe eggs and all other kinds of flies, smaller nymphs can really, really shine there on those fish. Uh, don't be afraid to fish those in big water too, but especially the more pressured waters can be very, very good. For the resident trout side of things, a nice little box here too. I think this weekend is per setting up to be an amazing streamer fishing weekend uh, because we will have a little bit of stay into the water and warm temps. So those fish should be very active. Uh, the Grand is the coldest river that we have around here because it's tailwater. It's at eight degrees, uh, which is near prime trout feeding temperature. All of our other freestones should be a little warmer than that. So they should be moving for streamers. Uh, I would be pounding banks with them. But if you want to fish nymphs, nymphs will always, always produce. Uh, worms and stoneflies will be top of my list. And if the water is clear as it will be on the ground because it is a tailwater. Uh, that river, even if it's high, will be clear. Midges, uh, little sow bugs, Frenchies, standard cast stuff will be very, very good. And again, if we have some warmer weather, which it looks like we will, dries could be on the menu. Olives would be uh, the most likely candidate for a dry, so keep your eyes peeled for small little mayflies. Uh, Hendrickson's are a possibility for sure, and midges are almost a definite on the ground too. So keep your eyes peeled for dries, even though it's early in the season, it's been warm. As always, if you need advice on exactly where to go, let us know. And if you need flies, this week only, we're going to be offering 20% off all of our in-store flies. You have to come down to the shop to get it. But all of our in-store flies are 20% off until May 4th. So make sure you pop down to get loaded up and get that hot intel on where to go. We'll see you soon.